more roller coasters in the skyline. We are at our first park, our first new park of 2022, and a new park for me in general, Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. Up coaster fans, uh, welcome back to another video, and we're here with some people at Kings Island today. Yeah. Some enthusiasts. Uh, I hear the banshee screaming right now. So yeah. Hello. The, the Vice BNF president Warm. of our college's coaster club. Yours truly. Yes, yours truly. And we got Andrew and uh, Chris right here. And this is our first time at Kings Island, but Mark's second, third time. Third time, yeah. Bro. Yes. Bro, bro. And we just go out here. Uh, lines are looking pretty good, and it's a nice uh, warm day so far. So Sorry, let's hope. Yeah. So we're, we're about to go in. This will be day one of two at the park. And um, uh, Friday will be your second day. Tomorrow we're going to have a day off uh, due to rain and thunderstorms that are uh, forecasted. But for right now, we're going in and hope to have some fun. Guys, we just got into the park, and oh my gosh, this park is already absolutely amazing. So we're uh, in close proximity to the shed right now. I don't know we, how I feel. We are actually going to Diamondback first. That's too close to the shed, but sure. How about Mr. Timbers after that? Oh, the shed. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Diamondback and then Mr. Timbers. Yo, we just rode Diamond back. That was amazing. Yeah, that floater was great. Made up for the trip. <laughs> As of right now, that's my favorite BM Piper out before I've been on. That was so great. All right, you haven't been on Intimidator yet, but yeah, this is a great one. Hopefully, hopefully I will pretty soon. But yeah. Diamond back was so awesome. Hey, I'll be a Carol. It's just not when this chat is. So. Yeah. Now we are on to another bucket list coaster of mine, and it's great right next door. Times. All right, so we just rode the beast. It is running so good after it's retracted. That was awesome. Uh, hopefully, we get a night ride on it eventually during the trip. Um, also, Mystic Timbers was absolutely great. All right, best air time I've gone. My favorite GCI so far are the ones I've been on. Now we're heading to a, our first giga of the day. All right, oh, so no, we just did our uh, giga coaster of the day on a ride. It was pretty good for a new uh, B&M roller coaster. Number 10 of top 10, boys. Yeah. Spoiler. Yep. You have anything to say, Andy? Uh, no. What about you, Chris? Man. Mark, what do you think about Orion? It, it doesn't serve the hate, but it doesn't serve the hype. That being said, it's a solid coaster. Yeah. We're in line for Flight of Fear right now, so we'll see you later. All right, I'm really liking the theming inside here. This looks really good. I've done Flight of Fear at King's Dominion, so let's see how this one ranks compared to uh, that one. Hey, Flight of Fear was pretty good, actually. Um, uh, I like this one better than the one at King's Dominion. I'll admit that. Uh, the launch was pretty good. The inversions were good. It was a little bit rough at the beginning, but overall, it was a, it was a nice ride experience. My favorite spaghetti bowl. Yeah. And uh, we also did a ride. That was a... Uh, that's all b and and my third B&M. My, my, my third B&M. My favorite at this park right now, I'm not going to lie. Yep. And that was my third uh, Giga period. The other ones being I-305 and Millennium Force. So, yeah, two great rides. And um, I'm enjoying this park so far. It's absolutely great. Um, Kings Island is up there so far. So, good job, Kings Island. All right, we're in line for Racer. Another one roller coaster of the day right after we got off of um, uh, Play the Fear. So, this is what we're doing right now. And doesn't look like there's much of a wait, so we're just gonna hop right on. Uh, new credit for me, another new credit, yay! So many people, it's like it's chattering. Yeah. Okay, scratch that. We got on, and they took us off to do uh, inclement weather that's in the area. So we're just doing Adventure Express right now instead. Um, it's open, so uh, we're just gonna hop on and uh, give it a shot. So let's get on Adventure Express. <laughs> okay, liter never mind. Literally everything went down for weather, so we're gonna go eat instead at the Miami River Brew House, uh, the number one recommended place to eat here at Kings Island. All right, just had something to eat at um, Miami River Brew House. That was really spectacular food. They had uh, great burgers there. Thanks to Mark, who recommended the burgers. Oh. Yep. Um, oh, buddy. <laughs> Also, good news, the uh, coasters are back open and we are now in line for a backlot stunt coaster. 
So this is the Italian job. It's the, the, the original name. And so this will be new credit number six for me here at Kings Island. Hey, so back with Sunkos was actually pretty fun. Um, I do prefer this one over the one at King's Dominion. I felt like uh, it was a bit more intense for being a family coaster. And unlike the one at KD, the effects on this one actually work. Yeah. Yeah, so like overall, I, I gave um, Bangalore Sun Coaster here at King's Island a good rating. Uh, we're going to try Racer again because, as you know, we uh, did not get on it at first due to inclement weather. Um, but. Like I said earlier, luckily, luckily for us, um, it seems like all the coasters are back up and running. So we're gonna we're gonna hop on and um, see if we're lucky this time. You know, for an old era mine train, that was actually like kind of fun. My opinion um, has completely changed. Yeah, I'm worked in like uh, Adventure Express um, previously, but like this was actually like a decently good ride on AE. Um, it's it, it's a little it is a little bit janky, but like that's to be expected from all era coasters, I guess. Mine is Tennessee Tornado because I think it's a. Tennessee Tornado is too janky though. I think it's very smooth. Tennessee Tornado is. Smooth. Um. So what next? Do you want? Do you guys want to do Banshee? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna do Banshee, the B and M invert here. No, I let people do it. All right, so right here is Banshee, the 2014 B and M invert here at Kings Island. That's where we're going to right now. Um. Just got a few more coasters left here. Hopefully, we can get them done today. And uh, yeah, it looks like a really good ride. You excited for Banshee? Yeah. Banshee, yes. you excited? Yeah. This park is beautiful, though. I love, I love this park so far. It is, um, uh, for my first time here, I'm so far having a good time. Hey everyone, uh, we're walking out of the park now. Day one complete at King's Island. We'll be back on Friday. Uh, like I said. <laughs> and also, uh, Chris here beat me at Boot Blasters. Yeah. <laughs> um, like I said, we're probably not coming tomorrow just because like the weather looks pretty uh, pretty crappy right now. Um, so Thursday's out for us. Uh, so Friday will be our second day at Kings Island. We only spend like half a day here, so it will. So Friday should be our full day. Um, overall, well, first of all, I like to say uh, I. Got the credit since uh, the last time I've recorded. I got the credit on the like, bat, like, um, the, yeah. uh, the bat, uh, uh, in vertigo, in vertigo, and uh, banshee. I read banshee too uh, since the last time I, I recorded this, and boot blasters, of course. But overall, super impressive this park. I think this is a fantastic Cedar Fair park. Um, honestly, I can't really say if I like it more than Cedar Point yet, just because uh, I only spent half a day here. But gone all the major roller coasters. Uh, had some food at Miami River Brew House, which was excellent. Had some blue ice cream, which was also recommended. That was excellent. And just overall, had a very good day here. A Andy, what'd you think? It's pretty good. What, what's up, buddy? What'd you guys think? Did you have a good day? Oh yeah, a great, Fantastic. a great revisit. It was wonderful. Yes, yes. So um, the only the only credits I'm missing are just the kitty coasters. So hopefully, I'm able to pick those up. But uh, Yay, anyways, uh, so we're in the parking lot right now. They just closed the park, um, closed at 8 today. Friday, they closed at 10. Uh, and I'm just going to wrap up the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And tune into the next video. Do me a favor, ride some roller coasters. Peace out, y'all.